Hey everyone, today I have a quick OBS Studio tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to do a circle face cam in OBS. So whether you're streaming or recording, it'll look something like this with your face in a circle, whether it's in the corner or the middle, it's really easy to set up and totally free to do. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So our first step to creating a circle face cam is we need to create a filter. We're gonna do that over in Canva here for free. So if you haven't used Canva before, just jump over to canva.com. And again, it is free. And we're gonna go ahead and create a design here in the top right hand corner. We're gonna go down and I'm gonna use the one that says 16 by nine for a presentation. It's the same ratio as the screen we're recording in. Now, once you're in here, we have our blank canvas. We wanna change the color of that to black. So make sure that's selected. You can go up here to the background color and just select black and that'll change it to black. And from here, we need to actually add a circle just in the middle. So we're gonna go over to the left side here. You'll see elements. Go ahead and left click on elements and we can go through lines and shapes here. Just hit see all. And you can actually use any of these shapes really um, to create a shape for your OBS studio. We're gonna be doing circle today. So I'm gonna just grab a circle here. We're gonna tap on that. It's gonna put it right in the middle. Now don't forget this part. We need to change the circle to white. So make sure it is selected and we'll go up here to the top left hand corner, select the color and we are gonna change that to white and that's gonna be white. Now we're gonna um, increase the size here as well. So I'm gonna drag out the corners of that. I'll make it roughly about that big and I'm just gonna put it in the middle of the screen like that. Now from here, I'm just gonna name this up here. Maybe I'll call it circle filter and we are going to save this as a PNG. So let's go ahead and go up to share here in the top right hand corner and go down to download right there. And we're gonna select a PNG right here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and download that just like that. And it's gonna download it to our PC. And I've got it down here in the um, corner. You can find it on your computer. I'm actually gonna just move that over to my desktop. And I do have a folder on my desktop here as well that says OBS filter. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in that folder. Now I do need to mention wherever you put this folder and file, don't delete it. If you delete it, it will pull it out of OBS. So if you're not wanting it on your desktop forever, maybe put it in your documents or somewhere where you're not gonna delete it. So I've got that in my OBS filters there. Let's jump over to OBS and show you how to apply this so you have your face cam in a circle. So over here in OBS Studio, under scenes here in the bottom left-hand corner, I happen to have a scene called Right Screen One and that's of my screen here over on my right-hand side. It's just of my website here and that's what we're gonna be adding my face to in a circle. So um, really easy to do this. So the first thing we need to do is set up a new scene. So we're gonna go over here on, under scenes in the bottom left-hand corner and you'll see a little plus sign down here. Go ahead and tap on that. And we can name the scene whatever we like. Maybe I'll call it circle filter. And we'll just go ahead and hit okay. And it's gonna create that new scene for us. Now in this scene, we need to add our source, which is our camera or webcam. So what we're gonna do is head on down to the bottom of the sources area here. You should see a little plus sign. Go ahead and left click on that. Make sure your webcam or your camera is turned on and go ahead and left click on video capture device here. And it's gonna allow us to add our webcam or camera. So if you don't have one added already, you can go to create new here and just hit okay. If you have existing ones like I do, just go to add existing and I'm gonna be using my Canon M6 Mark II. We'll left click on that and go ahead and hit okay and we'll pop up here on the screen. Now from there, it's time to add our filter that we created over in Canva. So pretty simple to do. Head back on down to the scenes here in the bottom left and go to your circle filter make sure it's highlighted and we're gonna right click on it and you should see the filters option right here. Just go ahead and left click on filters and it's gonna pop up and look something like this. And in here we need to go to the plus sign. So you'll see effects or effect filters here. At the bottom there's a plus sign, just left click on that. And we're looking for the one that says image mask slash blend right here. You can left click on that and we can name it. I'm gonna leave it the same. Um, you can name it whatever you like. I'm gonna hit okay. And it's gonna allow us to search our computer for the Canva filter that we made. So in order to do that, there's a browse button right here. Just left click on that. And then we can search our computer. So again, desktop and I had OBS filter and it's right there, circle filter. So we'll left click on that and hit open here. 
and it's gonna apply that filter to this scene. So we're done in here, you can hit close. Now you can see that I'm kind of behind that circle that we created. Now it's kind of on the uh, small side here, so we're gonna fix that. So you can click on your face there or in the middle of the circle, and you can see I have red bar that goes right around the whole image. So if we grab one of the corners here, we can kind of shrink that in and move it into place so we're in the middle roughly like that, perfect. So once you've got it lined up how you like it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lock that in place. We'll just hit the lock key right here. And now we need to apply this filter that we made to our other scene. So let's jump over to my right scene here. We'll just click on that. This is of my website. And we're gonna apply that circle filter to this. So go back over to sources. Again, make sure that scene is selected that you wanna apply that filter to. So under sources here, go down to the bottom to the plus sign, and you should see the scene option right here. You can go ahead and left click on scene, and we can search for our scene here under add existing. So it's called circle filter. We can left click on that. We'll hit okay, and then all of a sudden I will show up here in the middle of our website. So it works really good that way. Now I can shrink this down. I can make it big. I can move it around wherever I like it. So maybe I wanna shrink it down a little bit and put it off to the side, or maybe the bottom right-hand corner like that. And it is in there, it's all set. And now that scene, our right screen one has myself in the corner. And really it's that simple to add a circle face cam in OBS Studio. So I hope this quick tutorial helped you out. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.